Today's crock pot recipe, you're gonna need two chicken breasts. These are like pretty large chicken breasts. One package of cream cheese, some pasta, a can of cream of chicken, and a packet of Italian salad dressing. Some chicken broth. I'm gonna take my packet and just sprinkle it on top. All of it, the whole thing. And goes that, cream of chicken. a half a can of chicken broth and you're going to turn it on to low and let it cook for about six hours so i just shredded the chicken that's what it looks like and now that i'm home i'm going to cook the pasta and then put the pasta in here So I just wanted to chat with you guys a little bit. I have learned so much this past year. I'm definitely on my toes these days. It feels good to be in this space and to be in this new season of life. More growth, right? There's just so much to be present for. There's so much that I feel like I have to tackle. And I'm just trying to maintain like my home, relationships, social media, YouTube my podcast, which I haven't filmed an episode. It's been a minute. I, I got you, I'm coming. It's gonna be a whole different vibe because I I have changed so much. Just in this past like couple months, I have changed so much. I just feel like I have so much to attack and just making to-do lists, that infinite to-do list. And just getting myself into a space that, that feels healthy. Now, in order to do that, I have to review my thoughts and I have to review my habits. When you don't take the time to review your thoughts and to review your habits, you're gonna feel stuck. And I'm learning to be honest, to be more honest, and to really maintain this vulnerability because being vulnerable has helped me transmute energy. And being vulnerable has really just taught me how to heal myself. And you know what I've learned? There's so many ways that we can take care of ourselves. There's so many outside things and people and energies um, that influence us. And what I'm learning is that like you have to learn what works for you and, and your journey. You know, you have to learn what that looks like. What does it look like to take care of you that's something i'm currently moving through and that's something that i'm learning and again there's so many outside influences and outside energies and i'm just now for the first time in my life feeling like i can rely on me and i'm learning you know about my morals and my moral compass and my guidance system and this time in my life is so transformative like to see myself in despair and feel like I'm in despair, be able to shift into a space where no matter what the situation, no matter what is going on, no matter what I am experiencing, I choose to move forward. I have to continue 
to do the work. I have to continue to show up. I have to continue to grow this shit and to grow within myself and to be able to evolve no matter how hurt I am or what's going on and happening. Because beyond maintaining all of this shit, what I see or you know what the reality is, more than anything, I have to be who I am and I have to embody who I am. Lately I've been on I've been on social media a lot, but you know, I get on and I get off. I say what I have to say, I express my little expressions and I and I move away. I back off. Perceive myself to be you know, a certain way, but behind this camera and behind what I show, like I am dealing with myself right now. You know, not what's going on in the news, not what's going on on the internet and what social media is saying. It's just been so important that I get to know me because this is, it's me, it's a personal journey. It's just been so important that I sit with myself. Like what is going on with me? I just have no interest in what the internet is talking about or what the news is talking about. What's going on with me? What can I control? And just really redirecting my attention has been so important. It is so easy to get caught up and wrapped up with what's going on and get lost in that shit. And then, you know, people are overwhelmed and they're psyched the fuck out because there's a lot going on. And it's been so important for me to walk the walk, talk the talk. I'm in this space of like, I'm learning so much about myself, but there are things that I still need to figure out and I need to reconnect to. I feel like people, and me included, I, I was so caught up with connections outside of myself, external connections that I forgot to connect with me. And lately it, it feels so good to just be like, what do you need? What do you want? What does that look like? What does that feel like? And I'm learning, you know, it takes work to grow that. It takes work to maintain that. And I'm just learning so much about who I am through this process. I don't have it all together. I am winging this shit. And I have to have faith right now. I have to have faith because I don't know. I'm strong as fuck, but I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna make it. The shit that we're going through is so trying on the psyche. I, I consider myself a pretty optimistic person and I'm, I'm a happy person, but that doesn't mean that I don't have to sort through pain and emotion. And my connection to self was hanging on to a little tiny string. I know what it feels like to lose that connection with self. I know what it feels like to not believe in myself. You know, a lot of people think like, oh, you're so confident. And I practice confidence, but you know, it just comes down to like faith, you know, and, and really like believing in the shit that you can't see. I've noticed when I suffer is when I don't believe in myself and when I don't have any faith. I've just really been trying to do the work on, again, reconnecting and, and having that faith and having that belief in myself. I've also learned there are certain aspects that we have within ourselves that no longer serve us and they have to go. There are old versions of us that we have to let go, old versions of self that, that have to go, you know, and sometimes uh, that can be painful. These versions that have to go were necessary at one point and you know that's another huge lesson that i've recently learned is these aspects of myself that i'm like okay it has to go it's no longer necessary but at one point it was and i understand that you served your purpose bye because what happens when we don't say goodbye to those aspects they're just going to stand in your way Another thing that I have to work through, and I'm still working on this, is my defenses. Um, I've always kind of been a defensive person. And so noticing that aspect, all defenses is a coping mechanism. We become addicted to coping mechanisms. And so it's just like finding healthier ways uh, to move through that. And that's why it's so important to switch up how you take care of yourself it's so important to switch things up. That is a huge part in my evolution. There's so many like fraudulent energies out there. And so it's been so important for me to like, okay, well, what's 
my truth because I need that. Coming into this new version of myself, I've learned maybe I wasn't depressed. Maybe I was just tired. Very um, passionate about like what gets people into that low vibration. What gets people into that space of darkness. I'm like obsessed with shadow work because people get into these spaces of like not even wanting to live and they don't know how to communicate that in, in a healthy way anyway. And it could just feel so, so intense. It's so important for us as a collective to revisit how we are communicating with each other and our truth and our essence because that is all we have. On my journey, I remember like I was mad with certain people in my life for not like being there for me. I recently realized like who the fuck is going to be there for me when I can't even communicate what I'm going through and like what the fuck I'm feeling. So as much as I felt like certain people, you know, weren't there for me, and there was so much that I had to face by myself, which I believe that's what hinders people from evolving and having um, progression in life, is them not facing themselves. And I'm just so grateful that I've had that lesson of like, it's me versus me. I read this, um, or I didn't read it, I listened to this audio book. I always forget, um, but I learned that I was, uh, I had a little bit of all of the attachment styles, but um, my main one is the avoidant attachment style. And I'm still an avoidant. I'm, I'm working through it. I don't want to be that way. Um, but again, I'm, I'm growing and I'm learning. Once I had that resource, that, that audiobook is amazing. If you are codependent or if you struggle with attachment, I highly suggest you read or listen to the audiobook because it completely changed my life. It really made me review and reflect um, where I was being avoidant and how. Now it's just like, okay, what does balance really look like for me? And what do I have to do to get to that harmony? I just want you guys to know, like the support lately has been oh, so beautiful. And I hate that I can't respond to every single message, but I just want you guys to know um, you're not alone and uh thank you so so much for watching my vlogs liking my instagram pictures showing up you know here on the internet with me like i see you i feel you and i'm just so so grateful i've been going through it i have i know that you know i'm twerking and i'm laughing and i'm i um show this um happy woman and i am happy but i'm also just like a functional person <laughs> there's just so much that i'm c currently coming out of and i just need to make more time to respond to the supporters to the people that um show love and just thank you for you know the ups and downs and for coming with me um through them all <laughs> and take care of yourself who do you do it for? What do you do it for? Just the applause, wanting it all, say what you want. Need a big stage, wanting the lights, needing the fame. I know you're working hard, don't wanna take a break. Every second you waste, you count it up and count it up again. Count it up. Counting it up and counting it up again yeah. Asking will I make it Pray before the day ends I wanna see my name in lights Have them scream my name in I wanna live right I know it's my time Stopped at a red light I'm trying to go If I can't have it all Then I don't want it if I can't have it all, then why am I trying? Why am I? Why am I? Why am I trying? Why am I? Why am I? You wanna party with me? I wanna get my mom everything. 
You wanna ride with me Want you all just to be proud of me I know you're working hard Don't wanna take a break Every second you waste You count it up and count it up again Counting it up and counting it up again So I'm taking a banana for lunch, some Cheez-Its. Um, I had dinner at my mom's last night. She made mashed potatoes with pork chops, green beans, and like a casserole type thing. It is so bomb. Um, she had leftovers, so I'm taking that for lunch. And I have my water.
Casey with this message is for you. and I was just calling to get you on the schedule if you can give us a call back thank you let's see what it looks like Ooh. So satisfying, crock pot meals when you just like touch the meat and it falls apart. I am on my lunch break. I got Taco Bell. I got a quesadilla, easy jalapeno sauce because sometimes they put so so much and it's just like it's just too much. So quesadilla, easy sauce, and then the Doritos, um, Doritos Los. Let's try that again. The Doritos Los, whatever, Supreme. <laughs> I'm so hungry. I didn't eat breakfast. I should not be eating Taco Bell, but listen, I've been craving it. So good. So I just got to the Humane Society Southern thrift store. I thought it was a thrift store, like furniture thrift store. So I'm on the hunt for a white bookshelf. I came to this thrift store and it's actually the Humane Society, but I guess it has like a thrift store inside of it so i don't know i've never been here um i might fuck around and get a kitten <laughs> i got a kitten i got a kitten she's in there mm -hmm. 